Hello everyone and welcome to my Man of Shame. So, here's the deal. I just went to start this game up. First thing it did was pop up my name right in the front um, and forced me to make a profile. When I made that profile, it gave me an error saying that profile could not be made. I tried this several more times before pressing escape and it finally went to this screen. Now what the game noticing is everything's already locked down. It's very odd. It's very just weird. Look. I'm sorry, when I have a bad first impressions, one of the things I do to punish a game like that is I just start the timer before I finish my introduction. So the timer is now started because screw this game. Sorry, but it's getting off the wrong foot there. Um, oh god, please don't show my friends. Oh dear. Settings. Resolution isn't even maxed. Oh boy. Wait, does it even have? Yes, it does, but still. That's gamepad support apparently. Oh boy. Okay. I don't think this let's just go into the campaign and see what happens. Please don't please don't plaster my name everywhere. Alan had enough of a daily grind. All work and no play. He was done for it. So one morning he made a decision. He would join the noble community of dungeon looters. Our story begins at the edge of his village, in front of a supposedly haunted ancient crest crypt. Well, can't back off now. I'm telling you, you're not cut out to be an adventurer. You define work as a toilet cleaner, but you're throwing it all away. Enough of that. I want the high life. Glory, golden girls. Oh, really? Then what are you waiting for? Aren't you going? I'm refining my strategy. Your strategy? A scrawny coward like you. Go on, get back to the tavern. What? No one, and I mean no one gets to call me a coward. I'm off. Huh, shame. You're a good boy at heart. Carrot token represents your team. I can select the adjacent square to move. Okay, we've got a few different things around here. Nothing crazy. Um, so let's just use adjacent square. Okay, nothing happened. Next square, still nothing. All right, monster, a human in our dusty galleries. Get out! You'll clear all the lovely dust with your horrible clean fingers. Ah, skeleton. I think it's somehow sneak by and avoid the fight. Avoid me? I can hear you coming from miles away! You need the right ability if you want to avoid a fight. You better flee, kid. It's dangerous here. I'll flee? Never. You better fight, you unholy creature. Oh, my bone, he's, he's charging me. That's rude. I played two games being, playing an arsehole in a row, apparently. Yes, yes, it's fine. I understand the, the logistics of a basic turn based game. Also, wait, what? He's clearly holding a bow, but has no bow ability whatsoever. Okay. Fair, fair enough, I suppose. Ah, oh, you found a sword and skeleton. <laughs> Once again, he had a bow on his character sprite. Wait, and all he was wielding is a toilet brush? Oh god. Wait, he's still holding a bow! In every single one of those, he's still holding a bow! Wait. Oh, what? What you don't see is it popped up with a little option to buy DLC. Literally, the first thing it did was, Hey, you can change your clothes right now! And it's all DLC. Fantabulous. Okay, so apparently I do have the ability to use a bow, which is something, I guess. Um, but I don't actually have a bow on my equipment page, which implies that it doesn't actually... Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, let's just keep exploring. Inspect the book. Blessing of Regeneration. Well, that would be more useful if I went for a couple more fights first, but sure, thank you. Oh, another skeleton. They definitely look the same. On guard. A kid pretending to be adventure again? This isn't a place to play. Look, let me quietly haunt this place in peace. Save your breath. I mean, you can talk, by the way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Die again. No, seriously, just rest in peace. I'll bring a rail bell for you. Okay. Well, at least I can heal at the moment. And at least the regeneration is lasting all the time. 
three, but it's not doing enough to stop this, so okay. Alright, cool. God damn, but this one seems different sometimes. It must be a boss this place. Uh, manager, actually. Um, so, it's you who's been causing all the fuss around here. Do you know how much trouble you've caused me? I'm gonna have to support a report to management and kill you, of course. Oh, you think you can, you can scare me to grab my bones? Oh, well then. I'll teach you to have some respect for the dead. <laughs> you can't reach me. I should use my bow. Yes, you should have used your bow a long time ago. And, like, he didn't actually comment on the fact that now you can't actually shoot you. It's like, oh no, how could you shoot me? I just said you couldn't. Maybe allow me to hit the barricade and realize it's too strong. Yes. I mean, I kind of wanted him to fail, to be honest. Wait, what? Max three abilities? What does that even mean? Does that mean I've got a max three abilities? Does that mean I can use a maximum of three abilities? I don't know. Alright, so. Goal. Find the tavern. Find treasure. Bonus challenge. Max three potions. No traps triggered. Dungeon 100% unveiled. But I can do most of that. So, let's go. After this first success, Ella and our young adventurer left to explore another abandoned dungeon on a quest for riches and glory. But I... what is this place? This can't be right. I must have made some mistake. Uh, hey mister, what's the tavern doing in a supposedly abandoned dungeon? Ah, isn't it obvious? We're here to serve drinks. You should give them a try, kid. I don't like tourists who come in and don't buy anything. Uh, to be honest, I was planning to investigate this dungeon to fill my pockets. Not... no one told me it had already been explored. Well, it hasn't been! The first adventurers discovered this place thought it might be more profitable to have a tavern here instead of searching for what little treasure might be found. So is there any nights there'll be some treasure in this place? I'm gonna look for it. Maybe I'll be able to try sooner than planned. Ah, you're optimistic. Lots of newly minted adventurers have gone before you, and we're never seen again. That's why this place is never gonna be cleaned out, this dungeon. You give it like natural selection. Those in the know and say there's nothing but good here but good beer. The others die. In the galleries for a few measly coin. In short, you got no chance on your own. Then come with me. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Did you want to find out what else we hid in this place? I'm not an adventurer. I'm Frogram, the best accountant in the country. I'm Elan. Nice to meet you. So you're an accountant, carrying a warhammer and wearing armor? It's a dangerous profession, don't you know? I need an accountant. I promise I'll pay you to come with me. You can just come take a look. Oh, work. I suppose I don't really have a choice then, do I? Ah, oh, don't worry. Elan will be rich by the time we get out of here. Hey, don't forget to pay me before you leave. Run, kid. Okay, I managed to convince a, a um, accountant with money, and apparently the, um, wait, what? Uh, unveils a room which can be looted. Can, can unveil treasure room. Okay, so we've got a few things that, ah, I see, I see. I see. So, max three abilities meant I could have used Pathfinder three times. I don't know why I would have, but... I could have. Um, max three potions means I can use the maximum of three potions to heal. And no trap triggered. Well, that might actually require me looking at this. I don't know. Like, for example, what if I use this? Okay. So now I can see stuff, which means I can avoid that guy and go to someone else entirely. Gotcha. Alright, 7 or 6, it costs 1, I don't want to spend that 1 if I can hit him. And it costs 5, oh damn. Means he can still attack me even though I have 2 people. That's a shame. That's okay, not exactly strong. I mean, I do feel like I can't really avoid said traps if they're just forcing me to go one way. Also, I'm sad they've already stopped the um, talking to monsters thing. I kind of like that. That was kind of cool. In fact, there's been a lot less talking in this dungeon already. It's a shame.
Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this so far. Ooh, there's actually two monsters for once. Lovely. I don't really have that many abilities. I see, I can use potions by doing that. I feel like I should kill this guy first. Because he seems more dangerous. Nah, you're good. You're fine. Wait, what? No, 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 no. You're not using potions yet. Nah, 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 nah. We don't need a potion. I know how to take a potion. It's fine. You're fine. See? You got two whole HP left. God. That was such a wimp. See? Everything was fine. Everything was good. Ooh, talking. Welcome, stranger! Uh, hello, what are you doing here? I'm just a selfless benefactor. Here. I help any adventurers I meet in my travel. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Huh, thanks. Uh, what do I offer you for? Hey, listen. I'm making my contrib contribution to your noble dress. <laughs> Please, continue with me on your venture. Ah, uh, true, but that's not important. You got no potion. Okay. Not that I've been using that so far, but sure. Ouch, what was that? A trap! They're everywhere. But I guess a crafty kid like you can find them and deactivate them, right? It's easy to avoid them? Uh, of course not. It's a trap away. You deactivate it, set it off. That's how it goes. Okay. So does that mean I'm going to die? Or, like, what happens? Hello? Um. Uh. Is this the second time this is screwing up on me? I saw the report, record, the um, range this one mixed. Is, that, is it because it's not working very well? Kind of cool, too many bugs, and it's pretty repetitive. Almost good enough game. Game runs fine, eventually stale as gameplay sits in. Uh, played about an hour, enjoyed it. Quit the game, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are saying that it's not doing very well at the moment. Ah, oh, damn it. That's... This, this feels frozen to me. I don't know how to get past this, so hold F4. Get back into it. Hope it doesn't show off the. Uh... That's fine, I guess. Just just play the game. I want to see if I can get in again and actually continue my save game. If you start off with the bloody. God damn it! Okay, it's... wait, what? You, you bloody bastard. You're not saving my save game. You're, you're not... God damn it, stop! So... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just save it locally. Okay. What the hell? Ugh. So what I'm doing to Tavern? That's literally just my profile configuration. That's that's completely useless, thank you. And then it's this way. Okay, now can I get back in? It's probably gonna make me restart, is it? Yep, it made me restart. I'm out! So this game it's a shame too because the game was actually quite fun a little bit repetitive as it said but like quite fun I was quite enjoying it seeing where it was going to go but it's clearly just too glitchy nowadays and it's clearly just kind of not great which is a shame because it actually kind of looked uh, looked interesting well I, I guess that's that. Huh. Thank you for joining me on Mountain of, Mountain of Shame. The worst part is I'm going to go edit out those names before, from before. <sighs> anyway. Oh, good. Thank you for joining me on Mountain of Shame. This has been Dungeon Rushes, and unfortunately, the game does not seem to want to work very well. Between the crashes, it not saving your profile or your, your progress through dungeons, 
it's just not worth playing a game like this, unfortunately. Hopefully one day it gets fixed or re-released, but for now, this is it. Thank you for joining me, I'll see you next time.